We are coming to you from the Dow Ward Center where Colorado had their annual football media day. For guys like you and me that cover this program on a daily basis, this event isn't quite as necessary, but uh, we got to come and, and cover the event, and it, it's always good to see the players in a little bit less formal setting. At, you know, there's in the cafeteria eating the food. You can kind of sit down and get to talk a little bit more in depth than you do with that you know, post-practice window. Coming into camp, though, one of my first interviews was Jack Harris, and he told me that because of the player-run practices they had this summer, he felt like they had basically started camp five or six practices into where it would have been you know, in previous years. So that was pretty impressive. Um, at today's media day, Mike McIntyre talked about how they had uh, one period in practice where they had 42 reps in 20 minutes. So these are fast-paced practices, and I think those player-run practices really helped these guys kind of ease into camp a little bit. Um, and that's been the big thing at their practices. We have to be careful what we, we talk about. We have to kind of base a lot of our analysis on, you know, interviews that we did with players and coaches. But one of the things, the general thing to point out is that there are two fields going. When they go team period, there are two fields going. There's a ton of reps going on, and I think that's a big thing. Uh, in terms of quarterback, that's uh, something that everybody's kind of wondering. Is Connor Wood going to be the guy that the last seven practices of spring ball, or is he going to be Connor Wood that struggled early last year? The coaches have said positive things about him uh, they absolutely have and his teammates have said the exact same things I mean when you talk to his teammates they talk about his leadership qualities they talk about the improvements he's made on the field the consistency that he started to develop a little bit out there on the practice fields now who knows what's gonna happen day one against CSU you know who knows if he gets hit and loses his composure we don't know yet but uh, from what his teammates have said what he's shown in the spring and all that put together he's definitely stepped up and his coaches have started to acknowledge that I, I believe Lindgren told you that Connor Wood it's his job to lose and Mike McIntyre here today at media day came out and when asked about the quarterbacks he said Connor Wood is definitely ahead of them right now so you you could kind of see the writing on the wall once Nick Hirschman uh, transferred and of course Jordan Webb wasn't going to be able to play most of this season with his injury and pending legal issues but it's always if you're a Colorado fan it's comforting to know that he hasn't just completely lost his composure and, and mailed it in per se uh, with his competition kind of dropping off. They have a scrimmage next Saturday. Mike McIntyre was asked, are they going to potentially name a starter after that? And he did not want to commit to that. This is not a staff that puts a, a premium on when they name a starting quarterback. Last year at San Jose State, David Fales was not named a starter until about a week before the season. He ended up having one of the best, more efficient seasons of any quarterback in the country last year. So I wouldn't read too much into that, especially because Connor Wood was named a team captain. Yeah. I think everybody on this team kind of knows who the guy is there. And you've heard positive reports from Jordan Gerke and Encefo Lufa the other two quarterbacks that are kind of in the mix there. Uh, you had a chance to talk to Nate Bonzu, uh, and you also asked Mike McIntyre about some defensive line questions. Uh, what, what did you gather from that? Well, first of all, I mean, when talking to Mike McIntyre, when talking to any coaches or players on this team, in, in bulk, you know, for any position, they've talked about weight loss. But specifically for the defensive line, this coaching staff wanted their D-line to slim up playing in the Pac-12. And so... Obviously, guys like Josh Tupo, Nate Bonsu, they were bigger guys coming into Colorado that it, it wouldn't necessarily hurt them to lose a little bit of weight. And I got to say, Nate Bonsu looks like a different player. It, just talking to him one on one, he's lost 30 pounds, he's very upbeat. Uh, and talking to him about the defensive line is interesting because he grew up a Dallas Cowboys fan. So he knew Coach Jeff Coat from a very young age with his time as a Cowboy with the Super Bowl wins that they had. And he just talked about the energy that Jeff Coat brings, that he comes at you as a very down-to-earth guy. He doesn't think he's bigger than you. He doesn't think he's bigger than the program. And, and, you know, you might encounter that sometimes with a guy who's been in the NFL and had the success as a player that he has, but not the case with Coach Jeff Coat. And Bonsu talked about the fact that he, he has the credibility as a coach, and that's obviously going to pay dividends with the college players. But most of all, he has the experience playing in the NFL as a player himself. So, you know, when he's coming at you with technique, you know he's telling you the right thing. And that's what Nate Bonsu talked about. There's no question in their minds that Jeff Coat is giving them the proper coaching. You were talking about the, the weight that some of these players were asked to lose. I asked Parker Arms, are these guys on a different condition, conditioning program? He said, yeah, it's an extra yeah. conditioning program. So you don't necessarily want to be part of that group going forward. That's good motivation to, to stay in shape. And McIntyre talked a lot about it's not necessarily losing weight. It's getting more athletic. That's kind of the key 
behind all that. So this is week one of camp, but not even week one completed quite yet. So it's going to be a long haul. It's a, a marathon, not a sprint. So we're going to keep coming to you with content from camp and try not to, uh, you know, run out of things to, to report on because it is a long month. You know, and, and the full pads just went on today. So like Coach McIntyre said, the real football is yet to come. You know, the real football is still on its way, uh, and it started today with full pads going in. You know, just a few days ago, they put shells on for the first time. Practices started getting a little bit more spirited, and I expect that to go on forward. So, you know, for any Buzz fans out there that are, that are really jonesing for some real football, now's the time to come out because you're going to see it. And McIntyre said he wasn't comfortable talking about standouts the first week. I think he's going to be a little bit more open yeah. as we get more into, like you said, the real football. So there's plenty more to stay tuned for. And signing off from uh, Media Day, we'll see you soon.